What's up everyone, welcome to this first video working on my new project car. Today we are going to exchange our clutch fluid. It's the same fluid as in your brake system, so it is just basically brake fluid. So you can use any 5.1 or you stick to the old DOT3 and you can also go for DOT4 which is the most common, however there's been rumors or there's different opinions in the internet that DOT4 is too aggressive for the lines for this vehicle so for older vehicles so to be safe I'm gonna go with a 5.1 and the reason I'm doing a video about clutch fluid is because a lot of people tend to forget to exchange that so I'm gonna show you where the fluid is and I'm gonna show you how to bleed the system so yeah let's go so if you open up the hood of your Miata you'll find that your brake fluid is gonna be here the pre-owner already did that so the fluid is kind of nice um, has a gold goldish uh, color and you can tell that it's been changed matter of fact I have a little tester so I'm gonna show you um, how much water percentage is in there the fluid that all the people tend to forget or not all the people but a lot of people <laughs> Um, with your Miata and with several other cars that do have a similar system like a separate fluid system for the clutch is right here so right next to it there's this tiny little cup which has the exact same fluid for your clutch and let's test the amount of water in there now in case you couldn't see it properly I'm talking about this little cup down here so Let's open that real quick and use this little tester here to check for the amount of water in there. It's not gonna be much, but I'm just wanna, I just wanna do it for you to be able to compare it. Um, something in there that doesn't look like it's supposed to. Now, you have to be careful, that's why I'm wearing gloves, um, because brake liquid is really aggressive for your paint job and also for your skin. So let's put this tester in there and see what it says. It says, okay, so 1% of water in the entire system. So we could change that as well, but I'm not doing it. So you see 0% in the air and when I'm going in there, it goes up to 1% and between one and two is okay and if you go up here between three and four that's not going to be good you have to change that now from here already you can see the flu here is really dark it's almost black so we will see a lot of water in there and due to the age of this fluid it's not gonna be that cool for your clutch let's see yeah for over four percent I'm guessing it's probably around 20% already um, I don't think this has been changed for years now before we bleed the system underneath the car I'm going to get some of this fluid out of here from the upside of the vehicle so I'm gonna do that with this little thing here and I'm gonna store it in this bottle. Now you want to make sure that you're not taking all of it out of there but a great deal um, like 90% of the fluid that you can get from here should be taken. So when you get the fluid out of there, you just take a little paper and maybe go ahead and clean that cup a bit from the inside. And you pour some new fluid in. Now you see it's not looking too nice now, that's because it's mixed with the old one, but we're gonna delete the system now, then we're gonna continue filling this cup up. Now underneath your car, on your clutch slave cylinder, you have this little bleeder screw for which you will need a eight millimeter spanner 
and of course a collecting hose that goes into your bottle to collect your old fluid. Well, of course, before I'll go under here and open up the bleeder valve or the bleeder screw, I'll need to have a friend sitting in the car to, uh, yeah, help me to bleed the clutch. Well, he has to pump the clutch pedal. Um, it's not that um, complicated as with bleeding the brakes because with the brakes you'll have to watch to what point you'll pump the, the pedal. But with the clutch you can just, you know, pump the pedal without thinking about that. Once you're this far, you can open up your leader valve. It's difficult to see that for you guys, but you're gonna see the fluid at least coming through the hose. Just, yeah, 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 okay. Can you start pumping, please? Yeah, yeah, mach nochmal. And while you're pumping, make sure that this doesn't drain entirely. So always make sure that you um, put some more fluid in there. So that is how you bleed your clutch on the MX-5. NA. If you're looking forward to more stuff on the MX-5, since this is my new project car and this has been the first video working on it, be sure to smash like and subscribe. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff for this car, especially stuff that is street legal in Germany, so it's gonna be a fun thing to, you know, meet all these regulations while still having fun working on it. It's gonna be, you know, ups and downs all the, all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. What's up, everyone? Ah, ich gar nicht. Ähm, ne, was heißt denn Gabelschlüssel eigentlich? Äh, oh, fuck, man, müssen wir mal scheiß Begriffe googeln, gib mir auf den Sack. Aber ja, I'm see you guys. Oder jetzt. Oder wenn ich aufnehme und du fängst an. <lacht> Digga.